Daniel Horvey, and I am the vocalist in Hoodoo Mafia. I'm Ethan, and I play guitar in Hoodoo. Okay, so we are Hoodoo. Um, we also go by Hoodoo Mafia because there's like a thousand Hoodoos out there, so we kind of use that to set us apart when you're searching on Apple Music or whatever. Uh, and yeah, we're a five piece band, so drums, keys, guitar, bass, vocals. And we're from Regina, we're all from Regina, all grew up together. And yeah, we're like, I guess you could say, funk mixed with hip hop, and also like weird metal, kinda. It, uh, it, it's pretty random, but I feel like Dan... Uh, I'm gonna break it down like this. So, <laughs> Hoodoo was just a three piece before the Horvey brothers joined. And they were just laying down like, Maybe some smooth jazz, a little bit of blues, like maybe some, you know, instrumental grooves or something like that. And then basically, so you have your smooth jazz and you take your hip hop MC and then you're like thrash metal drummer. And then it's like, boom, strawberry cotton candy, baby. Um, so our backstory is um, three of us in the band. So bass, uh, the now keyboard player and myself kind of grew up jamming as a, as a three-piece, just whatever, instrumental and different, uh, just basically a bunch of different genres, which kind of comes out in our stuff now. And then uh, the Horvey brothers linked up with us kind of after high school, and everything just came together. So our, our, our keyboard player now used to be on drums, and he switched over to keys, which is super sick, because the Oregon adds a lot of flavors, you know, and then yeah, just drums and Dan's vocals just really uh, kind of shaped it together to what it is. Yeah, so right now in our career, we're kind of just uh, you know troubleshooting, figuring out that kind of that sound, and just like kind of you know really uh, really toning down on that uh, that kind of hoodoo sound, uh, that unpredictability and. Uh, just kind of trying to pull a little bit from every bag that we got on the table. Um, we're trying to cut a new record here. It's been put on hold just because we can't legally get together to jam and I can't afford a fine. So uh, yeah, as soon as that all clears, I think we'll be, you know, hopefully get the ball rolling. Ethan's got a couple dozen riffs in his back pocket. and So some of our past releases include uh, two drops from 2019. So that's our full length, which was Gorilla Swamp. Uh, it's got the cool gorilla on the cover. Uh, and that was kind of early 2019. And then we did an EP, which was October 2019. And now it's 2021. So we're trying to cook something up now. <laughs> Like tackle, make the catch like a wide out on the low, like scuba underground. No digital, they tell me to open up, but I can't even close the line down 24 7, baby. Meaning I could never sign out. Damn it, damn, four, damn, six. Keep it crispy like pancakes, brand flakes. I hop like a frog leash, got the hook up like a dog leash. Putting on for the QC in the prairie land where the hogs be. RIP, my late beat. Oh, yeah, no dog. To my homies, you know, my real homies. What up to my homies, the ones who don't know me? Won't pay five bucks to come to a show because they'd rather have some new a hoops. But that shows me what, where the real love that yo, I see ya. The D should stand for detergent, there ain't nobody cleaner. Yeah, we got the hook up like a carabiner. They call me Mr. Misterina, bumping back, Dre and Nicotina. I ain't saying you're not great, it's just that my team's greater And no, I don't mean holy like a pastor pope No joke, mysterious like a ransom No, written in blood When eyes wrote, it's written I was Only a year old, still drank my beers cold It is not for purchase, my soul will not be sold I hate starting my car in minus 30 below to my homies, you know, 
my real homies Run up to the homies, the ones who don't even know me Won't pay five bucks to come to a show me Cause they'd rather have some newer hoops But that shows me what Where the real love at? Yo, I see ya The D should stand for detergent There ain't nobody cleaner Yeah, we got the hook up like a carabina They call me Mr. Listerina Bumpin' Mac, Dre, and Nick Now I need everybody to get bucking here like a buccaneer on a pirate ship. You ain't flies this honeycomb with the money flow. I can sell a bone to a dog catcher. Walk around with a tall stature. He'll figure on my shoulders. 10k on my small finger. Bet you know we some high rollers. Summertime would be the dumbest time. 20 feet on the court face. Winter time would be the chillest time. Bunny hugs in the north face. Maybe what is your forte? You look sweet and sore, babe. Almost caught me a court case when I had to change of my Run up to my homies, you know my real homies Run up to my homies, the ones who don't even know me Won't pay five bucks to come to a show me Cause they'd rather have some beer or hoops But that shows me what Where the real love at, yo I see ya The D should stand for detergent, there ain't nobody cleaner Yeah, we got the hook up like a carabiner They call me Mr. Listerina, Bucket, Mac, Dre, and Nicotina. Career aspirations is just a word I've never had in my vocabulary before. I'm going to guess it means like further progress with our group. And really, we're just like, we're just like, you know, trying to hit the plaza, you know, maybe crush a few cold ones, like lay down some funky jams. If we can make it out of the 306 and, you know, get some free food on the way, that would be sick. And not have the van break down or something but that's about it you know yeah yeah like again like we're, we're pretty uh new for a band i guess you could say um and and just this year we really wanted to start touring you know like everything lined up uh, uh in in all of our lives to like kind of focus on touring but then uh you know the old pandemic hit and so pushed us back and now we're just kind of focusing on writing but I, I think for the future we all just want to tour you know maybe play a festival and and uh, just record fun records that we like playing you know it's not like about getting you know famous or whatever it's yeah like like I, I just want to like have fun with this crew because we grew up together you know and it's always been fun playing music together and just making whatever comes out of our jam sessions and just keep that going uh, yeah it's never been about a business it's always been about just like getting together throwing some jams down having a good time and you know we've got a pretty good uh group of friends that have been pretty loyal supporters since day one and they're always coming out to shows and just like seeing a few smiles you know makes it all worthwhile yeah yeah so like i guess again like we we've only done one tour so far which was like to winnipeg and uh which was super fun you know you learn a lot on the road uh but other than that we've like only played regina pretty much I guess we, we've done like a few festivals in Saskatchewan, but yeah. we're really just trying to like make that push and get out of our, our main bubble, you know, and uh, just like have fun with it. Art's been inspired by lots of things. Like, I feel like each member may take, a, you know, just a little something else out of their background. Like I said, my brother, he's got a heavy thrashing background, hardcore music, like DRI, blast beats, like stuff like that. So. 
Um, usually when we go in the studio, like we're telling him to tone it down, like, hey, no fills. And he's just, you know, doing all this crazy drum shit. So, um, you know, Adam's got the hardcore. My inspiration is kind of just like other MCs I've looked up to, like Def 3 from the city is a big inspiration. Um, you know, just like staying genuine and, you know, just like appreciating hip hop for like all of its, uh, can't think of the right word, like all the branches of the tree. Um, and then these guys, like I know Ethan's been bumping like uh, Foundations and Shane Riox had a few uh, crazy <laughs> vinyl records. So I think I'll just let him talk about that. Um, but. So yeah, as for inspirations, uh, I, th I think a part of the sound we're kind of trying to go towards is just the live aspect where it's just like, instruments you know and just people playing which translates to our live shows so we're trying to kind of capture that put it on a record as opposed to you know some of the newer stuff today that's like highly produced and like perfect we're, we're trying to kind of focus on like us playing everything on the records kind of keep it a bit more just keep that like human aspect to it I guess but um... in short, we take an inspiration from like the Beastie Boys, uh, some Rage Against the Machine. There's definitely some uh, some smooth jazz in there. Yeah, yeah. And then just yeah, again like skateboarding too. You know, like graffiti, I guess. Uh, just all that fun stuff. <laughs> so our songwriting process. Um, it kind of looks like, uh, well, I guess I kind of start off with a, a riff or an idea or some loose structure. And then I try to try to bring it to jam. Um, and then it just like totally everybody just puts all their own influence on it. And it just shapes into something totally different than like what originally kind of I had planned which is like the best because it, it turns out way better than what I have. And uh, so it's just like everybody contributing ideas to these songs. And it's not like I'm the only one bringing riffs, like Ringo, our keyboard player, is great at every instrument, you know? So he, he has like a lot of great uh, ideas around the room. <laughs> yeah, like the writing process for me usually starts off with Ethan bringing me like a riff or a little melody and he's like hey what do you think about this and like 11 times out of 10 i'm like dude that's sick and then he'll send it to me in a drive or something i'll start <laughs> you know i'll listen to it 101 times uh because i just overthink everything and then i'll finally you know just kind of like okay i think we're gonna go from here um at the same time i'm kind of thinking up rhymes like he's shown the riff to all the other guys usually when ethan and adam are like in the studio or a jam space or whatever Adam's just like perfect to just like, you know, figure it out in his head and like first fill he lays down usually just like matches whatever the, the groove is or whatnot. And just, I don't know, I feel like Adam comes in real quick on that like secondary, just jumps in with the drums. And at that point, just add a few lyrics. Ringo's like, I got this on keys. T.S. throws some little funky bass in there. and. Man, never 
give a damn, face it Half of the time I'm trying to get wasted I don't give a fuck what you have to say, kid Whack MCs always say the same shit I'm a cup of chin and a magic bracelet Pop a few pills, use perk to chase it Go fish, buddy, cause we're chasing aces No cones on, more stone like maces Try and take mine and I'll leave your vacant We got more soul than a shoe plantation Only come alive in one of two places At the skate park or when I'm on stages Boom, bat, buccaneer, steering a tank ship Treated this beat like a boat and sank it Excuse me, you're nothing but a blank disc Just another reprint, living in the matrix I wanna say fuck you To a homophobe, to a sexist and a racist Always on par, took the bar and raised it In our own zone like Elvin Maches Like a minotaur hiding in stone bases Who do a belt to break some faces, boy? Community is big, like uh, coming from a small town like Regina. Um, I feel like if you don't, you know, kind of just have that community or that following, like you can either, you know, we could go play a show and if, you know, if our friends and family don't show up, there's maybe five people I've never seen before and it's like, I heard of you guys through whatever, but I don't know, I feel like, uh, like the hu I kind of feel like the hoodoo community, if we could even call it that, just like so many friends and family just coming out to all the shows and stuff like that from the get go has really shown us a lot of support and makes definitely makes me want to continue doing this. Like I've I've played uh, shows on stage rhyming before and it's like, you know, twice as many people in the crowd as there is on stage. And it's just kind of like not disheartening, but it's kind of you're asking yourself, like, am I doing something <clears throat> wrong? And just seeing that big community and that following at all the shows, it's really, uh, it's really nice to see. And it's kind of just like inspiration to keep moving. And yeah. even, even not in music, like um, even just like homies in the skateboarding community, I won't, I won't even know who they are and that someone Ethan knows and they'll come up to me and be like, yo, you guys, the show last weekend was sick. And I'm just like, thank you so <laughs> much. I wish I know your name and it's just like I don't know just community like that and it just keeps growing I feel yeah totally yeah um I guess another point on just like the community of like the scene um <clears throat> is, is just like all the the influences so like what got us into like playing shows you know it's like because there's like the hardcore scene um which we're great friends with all those uh lots of people in the in those bands and then the hip-hop scene which is Mostly you guys that are a lot older than us, but we would always go out to their shows and be like, man, I want to I wanna do that someday, you know? I want to wanna be in a sweet band and, and, and play, play to people, you know? And so I see it as like all these different scenes, skateboarding, hip hop, hardcore, uh, just all influenced all of us, I feel. And really got us out to want to pursue music and keep going to get to that to their level um uh yeah i just feel like community is so strong um like especially like the hip-hop community before like i even started rhyming before when i was still in school like i kind of look at them as like you know like sass hip-hop pioneers like murky waters infrared f3 like factor chandelier up in Saskatoon even you know date back like way way back to like so so and epic but uh yeah it's kind of just like you hear those guys records as like a little kid and you're thinking like man these guys are dope and like they kind of just like you know you just want to be that you want to do that and coming from such a small city like it's not like New York where it's like New York is hip-hop like it's kind of just like Regina's farming and government so it's kind of just like I don't know, the community is so strong and you're just surrounded by such a positive energy. It kind of like makes you feel no other way than like, I need to be a part of this. What can I do to join this? And mm -hmm. oh yeah, some about community, just kind of talking about how like you being a young one, just like wanted to be a part of that so much. And like now is at a point where we're playing like small shows in our city and you know, guys who used to do that are now coming through 
um, doing like Canada wide tours and then they're reaching out to us and say, Hey, would you open for me? I'm coming to Regina. And that's just like, what? Like I was listening to your music, wanting to be kind of like you on stage. And now basically it's like, Hey, come to our, come to my show, come open for me. And you know, we finish our set and just having someone we've looked up to for so long. It's like, you guys killed it. Like I'm calling you next time. Or like, I'm, you guys are opening for me every time I come to Regina. That's just like, you know, can't really ask for much more than that. Yeah, yeah. So new for Hoodoo, we're kind of looking to just cut some more tracks, get back in the studio as soon as we can, get those creative juices flowing and really not trying to restrict or constrict ourselves. Like I've definitely had struggles in the past with like, does this fit Hoodoo? I write a song and like, I don't know if it's got the Hoodoo vibe. So I'm just kind of trying to throw that out the window, create what flows naturally. And then from there, I mean, I'd love to go on our first official tour once, once yeah, uh, yeah. you know, that option comes to surface. And uh, yeah, just staying humble and trying to be get, genuine and not get too caught up in all the... Yeah, next for Hoodoo, what I want to see or hope to achieve if this pandemic ends sooner or later, Every, everybody in Regina, everybody on the world, you know, just wants to play music, I feel. So we're on that, uh, on that ship. Uh, we just want to record an album and then tour and keep having fun with it. Yeah. What's next for Hoodoo? Double platinum diamond album. Worldwide tour. Universal tour galactic tour and then we were going to get some merch made like uh <laughs> like hoodoo mafia onesies and it'll just basically look like adam in his birthday suit yeah <laughs> scene <laughs> <laughs>